So last year we stopped at the Guy Harvey booth and I spoke about the Thread Cycle, the brand new Thread Cycle shirts that he came out with, with Guy Harvey. And well, here's Guy Harvey again to talk about some new stuff that just came out with them. Well, it's great to be back here at ICAST 2022. As you can see, it's a very busy week here, Matt. Yes, it is. A lot more people than last year, so good. So what have we done that's new? We've got two new, uh, well, three new colors in the Thread Cycle product. What do I mean by that? Typically, with cotton t-shirts, when you're cutting out a silhouette, there's a lot of wastage. But that used to go on a, on a tip or on a uh, dump. So we collect all the scraps, and we put, grind them down together, mix them with uh, man-made fiber, 50-50, and we come out with a new product called Thread Cycle, which is basically water-free, brand new product, kind of like a heather, and uh, the, the color doesn't require any extra dye or anything, so it's water-free. So we're saving a lot in the manufacturing process and turning a waste product into something that's wearable for anybody who wants to buy a Guy Harvey shirt. And as you know, whenever you buy a Guy Harvey shirt, a percentage of the proceeds go back into our marine research projects and our marine science education initiatives. So that's a great thing. Plus, last year, I actually went up to the Unified plant up in North Carolina and to see the process by which these performance shirts are made or the yarn that makes them is made from recycled single-use plastic collected curbside by waste management and, and sold to Unify. They turn the bottles into yarn through an extensive process that yarn is purchased by whoever wants to buy it, made to their specifications, and it ends up in our garment. So each garment has about six to eight recycled plastic bottles in it. And of course, we then sublimate it. We got new men's and uh, new ladies, uh, sun tops, sun protection, and um, exciting, exciting designs for everybody to wear. And of course, we got a whole bunch of new dresses out now for ladies. The first generation did really well. Uh, these are also sublimated, very light, and um, very exciting because, as you know, women buy for their men. They buy for their sons, their husbands, and their fathers. And we now want to provide for them too. So it's a very exciting development. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Kai, yeah. it's always so good hearing you talk about something you're so passionate about. Yeah. And really, you're full of wisdom. And like I said, you put so much effort into the, these lines. So I really appreciate you talking to me today. And I thank good. You. So the, the other exciting things are on the research front, we have collaborated with the, Darwin, uh, the Charles Darwin Institute in the Galapagos on research work on scalloped hammerheads and silky sharks, which are the two most endangered tropical shark species in the Eastern Pacific because of the shark fin trade uh, and other general overfishing, industrial style fishing. So we're, we're leading the research on that. We have proven, and you may have seen on Shark Fest this week actually on that geo, um, how we track the scalloped hammerheads from the Galapagos. They go to the mainland Central America to have their pups. Then they make that perilous journey all the way back again through a, a throng of industrial fishing fleets to begin the whole cycle again. Same for the silky sharks. And in Panama, at Tropic Star, again, the Pacific side, where we do uh, a lot of fishing. I've written a book about the place. We've, we're ending a five-year research project there on blue marlin, black marlin, sailfish. Uh, we're, we're picking up the project on sharks, maybe doing more on billfish. Done a lot of work on dorados, that's dolphin fish, uh, which of course are another severely overfished species. So we've got ongoing research projects as well. Plus, the Marine Science Education Initiative in Florida, since I talked to you last year, has really made enormous progress. We got into many of the counties in the state, uh, we got into teachers, got to schools, and we are now really making big progress with the Marine Science Education Initiative K through 12. And um, it's been really well received by everybody. So. Big progress on all fronts, Matt. That's awesome. Guy, yeah. thank you for the additional knowledge and yeah. we hope more to come. Great. Thank you. And enjoy the ICAR show. It's fun. Get here. Thank you.